Yo, what's up, YouTube? Venom Doxy here with another video for you guys today. Um, first things first, my voice is going to be a little jacked up. Uh, I do have a little bit of a sinus infection going on right now, so bear with me, guys. But uh, today I'm going to be showing you all how to install LSPD FR in 2024, newest way possible, um, complete guide. So this is going to be a complete series where I'm going to show you guys how to install each and every one of these scripts that are available in this video today i'm going to show you guys how to initially set up your lspdfr from scratch all right guys so let's get straight into it first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find our gta 5 main directory so i haven't used epic games or any of those other platforms but i know for steam we're going to go ahead and open up steam we're going to right click on grand theft auto we're going to go to properties we're going to go to installed files and then browse this is going to open up a file explorer for us. It's going to show us basically our file path here. So you got Steam, Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5, okay? And to find this, um, you know, manually, uh, let's go to let's go to this PC. Let's open up our OS. Let's go to Program Files 86. Let's find Steam. All right. And then we're going to find Steam Apps, okay? And then we're going to go to Common. And then there goes Grand Theft Auto 5. All right, so what we're going to do here before we even get into modding anything is we're going to go ahead and right-click Grand Theft Auto V. We're going to copy it, and we're going to paste it right in here, okay? So the reason that we're going to be pasting it in here and making a copy of it is because we want one version to be clean, and then we want another version to be modded. So that way, if you guys ever want to go play with friends online, you guys can always just go ahead and open up your clean version. Or if you make a mistake in your modded version, you can always resort back to your clean version, make another copy, and it's a lot better than having to re-download the entire game, trust me. So... <clears throat> Once this is done, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually rename the Grand Theft Auto uh, copy, and we're going to name this to clean. We're then going to use the original, and we're going to make a mods folder, and we're going to copy a couple things and paste it in there. So bear with me here. When this download's done, I'm going to show you. All right, guys, I went ahead and skipped more close to the end for the sake of this video. I don't want you guys to be you know, watching another 20-minute long video on how to install something. So there we go. It is copied. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rename this clean, like I said before, okay? So just delete that and then put clean. Okay, so this is our clean version of Grand Theft Auto. So this version here, we're not going to mess with. This version here, we're going to go ahead and open it up. Because remember, I'm going to go back. Because remember, Grand Theft Auto V, it has to be in this format in order for the launcher to actually open it, okay? If it's, it's not going to open this version. It has to look like this if you want it to open it. So if you want to switch to back to the clean, you need to remove all of this and have it look just like this. And then name this one modded. So let's go into our, our, um, our modded version here. We're going to right click inside of here and make a mods folder. Okay, guys, we're going to go to new folder. Name this folder mods. Okay. We're going to go back up to the top of here. All right. And now what I want to do is refresh. There we go. We got our mods. Now, what I want you guys to do inside of this mods folder is I want you guys to select update in 64. We're going to copy this. Another one of these things that you guys are going to want to make sure you do, okay? Because if you don't and you mess something up inside of here, you're not going to be able to just delete the mods folder and start over, okay? It's not going to be that simple. You're going to actually have to resort back to your clean. You're going to make a whole other copy and then remod it, okay? So let's go into our mods folder now and then paste these two folders. So what this is going to do is this is going to make us basically a copy of our update and then our 64 so that we're able to actually mod the game without altering our original files. So, you know, it's as simple as deleting the mods folder and boom, the mods are gone besides the actual initial LSPDFR mod. So, once we get to the end of this, I'm going to go over more about this subject. So, bear with me, guys. All right, guys. So, it's about to be done. So... Like I said, once these two files are moved here, we're almost done with this step. So boom, there we go. We got update and then we got 64. That's in there. We got our mods folder. All right, next thing you're going to want to do is go to the next link in my description, which is going to be the LSPDFR install, which is going to look like this, okay? You guys are going to hit download this file. We're going to go down to the bottom of it. You're going to go to agree and download. And then we're going to download the manual install, okay, guys? And just wait for whatever timers to go out, and then it should start your download. All right, we're going to go down to the bottom of it, and then we're going to hit uh, Agree and Download. 
And then we're going to download the manual install. So go ahead and download that. It, um, it should take you to a page here. Once this timer is done, it will go ahead and download it. Boom. All right, so once this is done downloading, then we'll go ahead and uh, move it to the desktop, and I'll show you guys what to do with it. All right, now the download is done, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open it. Drag this to your desktop, because I'm going to have you guys download a couple other things. Might as well get all the downloading out of the way. So move this to your desktop. Okay, go ahead and close out of that. We have LSPDFR here. We're going to go down to the, the next download link in the description, which is going to be script hook B. It might not look like this. Their site's a little jacked up right now. Go ahead and hit download on this. Um, should bring you to something a little better, maybe. Um... Yeah, so there we go. Now hit download on it. So just do exactly what I did. Keep this skip script. There's nothing wrong with script hook. Okay, it's gonna say it's a virus because it's 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 something we use for modding. So go ahead and move that to the desktop, just like so. And then we're gonna go to the next download link in the description, which should bring you guys over to um, Open IV. Go ahead and hit download on Open IV. Because you guys are going to need this to actually add, you know, modded um, cars and different clothing packs, things like that. And then finally, the last download link in the description, which is going to be Simple Trainer. Go ahead and hit download on Simple Trainer. Download. And then once that's downloaded, we're going to move this also to the desktop. Okay, so you guys should have four things on your desktop right now. You guys should have LSPDFR, Script Hook B. You should guys have Simple Trainer. And then the, um, the open IV setup. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our GTA 5 main directory. Remember I showed you guys how to do this. You go to Steam. You right click on Grand Theft Auto. You go to Properties. You go to Installed Files and then Browse. Now that's going to open up our file in the background. And there it is. Okay. Manually how to get to this. You guys can rewind the video. And I showed you guys how to manually get to this as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our main directory, which we are. We're going to open up LSPDFR, close out of whatever WinRAR messages you guys have. If you guys don't have WinRAR and you're wondering how to open these files, just go ahead and go to WinRAR. Select all of them. Control, unselect license, drag and drop. There we go. All right. So that time it worked. All right, guys. As you guys can see here, we have the Rage plugin hook.exe. That time it worked. All right. So once you're done doing that, we're going to go ahead and hit close on this folder. Keep the directory for Grand Theft Auto 5 open. Minimize it. Open up script hook B now. All right, guys. We're going to go inside of the Ben folder inside of script hook V. Select everything. And then once again, control, deselect the trainer. We don't want that trainer. That's why we downloaded Simple Trainer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. And we're going to take these two files here and just drag and drop them inside here all right almost every mod for lspdfr requires script hook v so make sure you guys have the latest version of this installed in your your uh, gt5 main directory all right so go ahead and close out of that window minimize we're now going to open up the trainer so we're going to use winrar to open up the trainer and then inside of here you're going to have some files the only thing that we're going to use is these two right here the one that says dot ASI and the one that says dot INI. Them are the only two. So what we're going to do, just like everything else, we're going to open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Make sure nothing else is selected, no folders, nothing like that. And we're going to take these two files and drag and drop them into the directory. All right, it's that simple. So now we have basically installed LSPDFR. But we're still going to have to do a couple things to make sure that this runs properly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here to where it says Rage Plugin Hook. Um, open IV is also something that you will have to install, but I have nothing for you guys to do really with this right now. So I'll still show you how to install it though. I already have it installed. I do believe. Yeah, I do have it installed. We'll reinstall it. Just go ahead and click, uh, open IV setup. You're going to hit English. Go ahead and hit continue. You're going to accept the terms of this agreement. Hit continue. You're going to install open IV on this computer and create a desktop icon. Hit continue. 
download it yes all right now once this is done downloading it's going to ask you basically for like your grand theft auto 5 directory so that way you can actually open up the directory and make modifications so once this is done i'm gonna show you guys how that's done all right so we're gonna close out of here now what we're initially going to do is click on open iv click on grand theft auto and there you go it's going to ask you for a location pretty much so we're going to browse remember how i told you guys how to do this manually you can rewind the video or follow me here Let's just go ahead and go to this PC OS. We're going to go down to Program Files 86. We are then going to go down to Steam. And then we're going to go down to Steam Apps. And then we're going to go to Common. And then there goes our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Okay, we're going to just click on it and then hit Select Folder. Okay, as you see, it was successful. We're then going to hit Continue. Continue. And now, as you can see, it's opened up our. Um, directory inside of open iv and then you have your mods folder inside of here so there is some things that you're going to want to do inside of here you're going to want to go to tools go to asi manager you're going to want to hit um install on everything in here if you see anything in here that does not have install make sure you hit install then go ahead and hit close exit out of this and then what you guys can do is we're going to go into our main directory now we're going to click rage plugin hook It's going to give you this message, and then we're going to go ahead and hit accept. It's going to check for compatibility, and it's going to pop this window up here. We're going to take away this one, okay? Just take away this one and put a six. That's all we need there. Now we're going to go to plugins. Okay, now we're going to go to load these plugins on startup. Click LSPDFR first response, and then we're going to go ahead and click load all plugins on startup, okay? Now we're going to go over to advanced settings. Don't mess with anything here. Game settings. Go down to backup game version. You're going to want to back up the current version. Okay, we're doing this in case we ever get like a update for Grand Theft Auto. We don't want to continue without backing up our current game version because if we don't, new update comes out, then we're going to have to wait until that new update, you know, basically for LSPDFR comes out before we can play the mods again. So after you're done doing that, you're going to go ahead and hit save launch. And then go ahead and hit OK. Now this is going to load up rage and then what it should do after this is it should launch the game and we shouldn't have any issues so let's see what we got all right and as you guys can see we are actually loading in to our grand theft auto using our rage so hopefully everything works good so yeah here we go we're gonna go ahead and start story mode with rage plug and hook all right guys so last time I've installed uh, LSPDFR, it never used to look like this, so I hope everything's still working right. And it looks like it is. So plugins was loaded, LSPDFR was loaded. That was weird, though, because um, back when I used to play this, it used to show a lot different. Like, it never used to just show everything all mashed up like that. So anyway, we'll hit yes on the save. Go ahead and hit escape on your keyboard so you can open up your menu. If everything was done correctly, you should see LSPDFR up here now next to brief. Click on that. We're then gonna go down to character. We're gonna go to go to nearest police station and then go ahead and hit enter. Okay guys, so from here, we're now at the nearest police station. Probably not the best one we wanna be at though. But we are at the nearest police station. All right, press E so that we can go inside of the police station. And um, it doesn't matter what character you spawn as because as soon as we get inside of here and we try to go on duty, it's going to make us make a new character. And it's just like the GTA Online's uh, character creation. So if you guys have done that before, you can do this. So, Yep, as you guys can see, it's going to make us make a whole new character. So for the sake of this video, I'm not going to get really into detail with customizing this character because I can change it later. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and continue on the one that we have. And I'm going to name him Doxy for the sake of the video. Doxy YouTube. And then we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to go ahead and use Doxy YouTube. All right, guys, so once we do that, we should be able to go on duty. Um, there's a lot of other mods that we can install that will make this a lot more immersive, like Stop the Ped and Unlimited Backup. There's a couple other ones. I'm going to put a whole series of different scripts and things that you guys can do with this and show you guys exactly how to do everything. 
if you guys see a lot of these YouTubers doing. Anyway, let's go to um, police the police uh, garage. And from the police garage, we are going to pick a car. If you guys want to put yourself in a uniform, you can by just going to the police locker. But I just want to pick this, so I'm going to pick save and continue on this car. Okay, and as you guys can see now, we are playing LSPDFR, okay? Um, if we hit escape on our keyboard, you will see now that there's different police stations across the map. Um, it is recommended that you know, you kind of, uh, stay, stay like within this area here for certain call outs, unless you have call outs that specify like Blaine County and things like that. But other than that, we have successfully installed LSPDFR in 2024. So I hope this video helped you guys that wanted to know how to do this mod or maybe struggling on how to install this mod. If it did, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and until the next video. I will see you guys later.